I intend to do this relatively quickly because I've done it elsewhere, but it is possible to animate the volume of a clip using keyframes. And I just want to show you how you might do that. Firstly, you can have a much bigger view of any audio waveform by firstly expanding it here, and then if you click between video audio in the header section, you can pull them up like that. And then if you go to the bottom of the audio waveform you want to look at, you can pull it down as large as you like, as large as your panel will allow, and then you get a much bigger view. And then the yellow line here, as we can see at the moment, is volume. Now, I don't want to look at anything else than volume at the moment, but obviously I do have other options. And if you remember before, I can take this down to show click volume, and then I'm only going to be animating volume. Now, if I wanted to fade in, the obvious thing that I would do is I would use audio transitions, crossfade, exponential fade. And I would take the exponential fade, bring it into the beginning of my clip and let go. And then I can drag it out as long or as little as I like to slowly fade in or very quickly fade in. So an exponential fade is actually by far the best way of fading in anything or fading out anything. It knows which way you're working. But if you want to do animation and add keyframes, then what you can do is you can go to the actual line itself, hold the control key on a PC, the command key on a Mac, and you get the little plus button. The alternative is actually to use the pen tool. If you've got the pen tool and you go over there, you will get that without having to hit the, the control key or the command key. But when you click, you get a keyframe. I'm actually going to go back to the selection tool because I think it's quicker, really. And then just hold the control key and put a control key at the beginning, add one there, and then I can pull the beginning down and pull that keyframe across if I like and then I've got a linear fade it's not an exponential fade it's a linear fade you can change it by right clicking on it changing it to a bezier or an auto bezier or continuous whatever ease in ease out you can change them completely I've right clicked and changed that to a bezier I then have a handle and I can make it look a lot more like an exponential fade and that's a lot more what an exponential fade would look like except I'd also need to change this one to a bezier and change its handle to probably something like that. Now that's more of what an exponential fade really looks like. But clearly if I want to change keyframes and go forward in time, control click on the line, so I've got a section I wish to do. Now that's actually, as you can see, carrying on with Bezier, so I'm just going to right click and take that back to linear, which doesn't have a handle. And so I want to reduce the volume of this section here. This is how I would do it. I would go to here, and then I actually need to come back a bit and add a keyframe here and come back a bit from here and add a keyframe here because I need to pull the section in the middle out. And now I can hover over this section and I can reduce the volume of this section by pulling it down and you can see the decibel reading there or I can increase it. But I needed the four keyframes to be able to do that. I needed one, two, three, four. If I didn't have four, let me just show you in another section of this particular waveform. If I pull across and I do control click and control click and I try and pull that section up I'm actually pulling the whole line based on previous keyframes which isn't what I want control Z if I only have three so control click there and pull up you'll see that I end up with a, a sort of a fade of some sort which is bearing in mind previous keyframes so it's not really the best way of doing it you need the four keyframes control Z Again, I'm going to put a fourth one in there command control click and then I can pull the section up or the section down depending on how I want to do it. It's one way of doing it. It's quite long and laborious. There are better ways of doing it. If you want to balance clips up, change the audio, there's other ways of doing it. In Audition would be a particularly good way of doing it, but you can do it with other tools. Alternatively, you can use things called automation modes. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to show how rather than doing it on a clip-by-clip -clip basis, you can actually change the volume of a track using the faders up here in your audio mixer to do an automation to automatically remember how you've moved it and change it from there.